I find iron meteorites to be the most visually arresting and to have the most fascinating life story of the main meteorite groups. And here it is. They were once part of the molten core of a giant asteroid that orbited the sun somewhere between Mars and Jupiter inside the asteroid belt. And to give you an idea of the distances, that would be an average of about 250 million miles from us here on Earth. And at some point in that asteroid's history, it crashed into another one and fragments spiraled in every direction out into space. And some of them made their way against all odds here to our planet Earth. And when they encountered our atmosphere, they did so at such a tremendous speed that heat and pressure are generated and the surface of that meteorite melted into fantastical shapes. And then it fell to the surface of the Earth or it was found at some much later point in the history of our planet. Now, if you were to take one of these iron meteorites and cut into it in the laboratory, it would reveal an extraordinary wonder and something that we don't see in any Earth rocks. And it is a lattice-like structure of two different nickel-iron alloys that cooled over an extremely long period in space. And that pattern is named after a German scientist who recognized it in the early 1800s, and it is known as the Widmanstätten pattern. And perhaps the most amazing thing about all of it is that every iron meteorite has a different Widmanstätten pattern. So in that way, you could almost think of them as cosmic snowflakes.